Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to create interactive forms in Microsoft Word document. Now, what exactly the interactive form is and why we need it? Sometime, if I send a form to different people to fill it, they might fill data into different different formats. For example, they might fill data in invalid format like in the case of date they can enter in the format of dd mm yy or some people can fill it in the form of mm y dd yy why not i restrict their area and make forms more interactive and give them option to select the data from the given options only for interactive forms, we need developer tab first. For the developer tab, we have to go to backend. That is, I have to insert the tab first. Click on the file option. From this, click on options. Now select customize ribbon option. If you observe, in the main tab area, only developer tab is unchecked all the tabs are checked because this is not used by everyone so i have to just click here that is in the checkbox i have to tick it and after that click ok now on the screen you can see the developer tab now come to our main form suppose i want to create a form for student registration i want the name of student for that, I need a text box or it can be a rich text box. So I have to click on this option. It is showing that rich text content control. And another one is plain text content control. Suppose I'm going to select this option, rich text box. Now you can see the rich text box is on the screen. To enter the data into this rich text box, just you have to click on this area and start typing your name. Suppose I'm going to type my name that is Ruchi Sharma. Next is college name. Suppose for college name, I just want something else text box. That is I have to click on this option that is legacy tools. From this option, I will select ActiveX control tools and I'm going to select this text box for that is text box ActiveX control. Now you can see the shape of my text box. If you are not able to see the cursor within this box and you are not able to type in this box, then you have to click on this option that is design mode. Now you can see your cursor is in this box now you can type the name of your college suppose i'm going to type my college name that is sd college next is age suppose i want to create a list here so that student can pick their age from the provided list only and i want to make the group of age that is from uh, 10 to 20 from 21 to 30 31 to 40 and so on. For that, I click on this option that is drop down list content control. After clicking it, you will see the box and it is showing that choose an item. If you will click here, you will get nothing because at this time my list is empty. I just want to create the list first. For that, I have to click on this properties option. From the properties option, I have to just add the list. Suppose I'm going to delete it, choose an item. Just remove it. Now I have to add the age. Suppose I want to enter age between 20 to 30 and click on OK. Again, I'm going to add suppose 31 to 40. One more 41 to 50 
let's add one more that is 50 plus okay now click on okay now you can see the list is available that i entered earlier so in this way i can create a list box now next is today's date suppose i want a standard date for all all the student for that i have to just choose this option that is date picker content control now if you click here you can see the calendar now it is uniform for all of the student so everyone will enter the valid date if you want to enter today's date just click here now you can see today's date that is 18th 18th of october next is gender suppose i want student will select either male or female so for that i need to create radio buttons why we use radio buttons because in radio button we can choose only one value out of multiple values for that i have to again click on this option legacy tools and select this option i can change the caption of this button that is option button one for that i have to click on this button and after that click on the properties option if you observe in the properties window you can see this is option one that means these all are properties associated with option button one firstly i want to change the caption of this button so i have to just delete this option and type male because i want it should be male and if i want to change the font size so i can change the font size from here also just click here from the dialog box i can select the size and click ok now you can see the size is changed and you can increase the box also further i want to add one more radio button for female again select properties go to caption option change the name that is female and if i want to increase the font size again i have to click on this option click ok now you can see the these two options are now on my form that is male and female now suppose i want to enter some hobbies and student have to take the hobbies from the selected list for that i have to just choose this option that is check box in this option again i have to go to properties option to change the name suppose i'm going to type the name that is dancing dancing and and you can see the name changed dancing if you want to change the font size you can change it from here also now i just want few more hobbies that is dancing and i have to click on another i have to just close it for another checkbox i have to just choose this option again and choose this option now again change the properties dancing suppose it's music and i have to change the font size i will change it okay now you can see these two options are now on my form student can select suppose i will choose this option student can select both option or they can select one option but in case of radio button student can only select either male or female now see if i click on female option male option will disappear if i click here on male option 
and female is unselected so in this way you can create interactive forms for the registration of student for feedback for question array that means you can create sort of quiz with multiple choice questions and many more things that's it for this video